probe team to find out reason of Narayanganj mosque explosion. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina tells Parliament. Narayanganj is a very difficult time to do this. It's a very difficult time to do this. It's a very difficult time to do this. বিশেষজ্ঞরা সেখানে গেছে নমুনা সংগ্রহ করছে এবং এই ঘটনাটা কেন ঘটলো কিভাবে ঘটলো সেটা ব্যাপারে তদন্ত হচ্ছে এবং আমি মনে করি সেটা অবশ্যই বের হবে country's current literacy rate goes up to 74.7% in contrast with 53.5% during BNP Jama government. And world champions France beat Sweden by solitary goal in UEFA Nations League football. Assalamu alaikum, I'm Ashrufa Hussain, welcoming you to News at 10 on BTV, BTV World and BTV Chattogram Centre. You've just heard the headlines, moving on to the details. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina has said advocate Sahara Khatun actively participated in all democratic movements of the country. The Prime Minister told this while taking part at a discussion on an obituary reference of parliament members, advocate Sahara Khatun, Isra Pilalo, sector commander C.R. Dotto and former Indian President Pranab Mukherjee at the Jatiya Shangshud this morning. The leader of the House said Sahara Khatun set an example by discharging duties efficiently in many crisis periods, including the Pilkhana carnage in 2009. The Prime Minister said those who did not come to power were connected with the Pilkhana tragedy. During her discussion, Sheikh Hasina also asked the authorities concerned to unearth the tragic blast in the Narayanganj Mosque. She assured of bringing out real facts behind the blast through proper investigation. Narangonji ji ghotna ta ghote chhe morji the ji bisporon ta ghotlo. Rotan to dukha jano. Amra iti mothe taun to committee kara hoye chhe. Bisheshok gora shikani gaye chhe. Nomuna shangro korte chhe. Abo ek ghotna ta keno ghotlo kiba be ghotlo. Shita bapare taun to hote chhe. Abo ami monu koi shita. अवश्य बेर हो भी, अमी विद्युत एवं अमदे गैस शौक्षित जब पत्ते का अमी निर्देश दिए थे, जेह काउंटर कुछ बेर करा, और उन्होंने सारा बांग्लादेश ही मौजूद करी थे, जरा आपूर्ति कर पी तो भाभी इच्छा मतो यार कंडीशन लगा थे, एन बा जिकहन इस जगह ने एक टा मौजूद गोरे तुल से, एन the Jatiya Shangshud has adopted a condolence motion in remembrance of the parliament members, advocate Sahara Khatun and Israfil Alam and former Indian President Pranab Mukherjee and other noted personalities of the society. The session began in the morning today with Speaker Dr. Shirin Charmin Chaudhary in the chair. The Speaker placed the condolence motion before the House and it was passed unanimously. Speaking on the condolence motion, the Parliament member said that Advocate Sahara Khatun had superb organisational techniques and she could impress people easily. She had worked for the Awami League throughout her life. The speaker stamped former Indian President Pranab Mukherjee a genuine friend of Bangladesh. He stood beside Bangladesh during the Great Liberation War in 1971 and he kept working for the welfare of the people of this country. Later, a one-minute silence was observed following by a prayer, followed by a prayer seeking divine blessings for the departed souls. The session of the Jatiya Shangshud will resume tomorrow morning. Twenty-four people were killed so far in the blast accident of Baitu Salat Jame Mosque in Narangonj, including today's three more deaths. Coordinator of Sheikh Hasina Burn and Plastic Surgery Institute, Dr. Shamuntolal Shen said, the other 13 people who are now under treatment at the hospital are in critical condition.
Health Minister Zahid Malik and State Minister for Disaster Management and Relief Dr. Enamu Rahman have visited the patients at Sheikh Hasina Burn and Plastic Surgery Institute today. The health minister said a case has been filed against unidentified persons for negligent death in the mosque blast. If anyone is found guilty in the incident, they will be strictly punished as per the law. The State Minister for Disaster Management and Relief said decision will be taken soon to give compensation to the blast victims. At present, the literacy rate in the country is 74.7%, which was only 53.5% during the tenure of BNP Jamaat Jodh. State Minister for Primary and Mass Education Zakir Hussain said this at a press conference organized marking the International Literacy Day at the Secretariat today. Primary and Mass Education Senior Secretary Akram Al Hussain was present. State Minister said the schools will not be reopened until the coronavirus situation becomes normal. Thirty-two more COVID-19 patients died in the last 24 hours in the country, increasing the death toll from the pandemic to 4,479. The recovery count rose to 2,21,275 after another 3,423 patients have recovered during the period. A press release of the Director General of Health Services said this today. It said the tally of infections has surged to 3,25,157 as 1,592 new cases were confirmed in the last 24 hours. The world champion France beat Sweden by one goal to nil in the UEFA Nations League football last night. Kylie and Bob scored the lone goal for France in the 41st minute of the match at Friends Arena in Sweden. Meanwhile, Nations League holders Portugal beat Croatia by 4-1 goals in their opener in the competition. In the other matches, Belgium beat Denmark by 2-0, England beat Iceland by 1-0, Georgia beat Estonia by 1-0, Montenegro defeated Cyprus by 2-0, Luxembourg beat Azerbaijan by 2-1 and Gibraltar defeated San Marino by one goal to nil. And to end the bulletin, a repeat of the top stories. Probe team to find out reason of Narangonj mosque explosion, Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina tells Parliament. Death toll in Narangonj Mosque blast rises to 24 as condition of 13 more under treatment remains critical. Country's current literacy rate goes up to 74.7% in contrast with 53.5% during BNP Jamaat government. And world champions France beat Sweden by solitary goal in UEFA Nations League football. And that's all from the newsroom for the moment. Thank you for staying with us. We invite you to watch our next bulletin in Bangla at 11.30pm. Until then, Khudafis.